You're no longer looking at Steve Hornsby. You're looking at Showbiz Steve Hornsby. Because I just landed the biggest brand integration deal in our company's history. This fall, Royal Crackers will be featured on an episode of Casa de Papa, the biggest sitcom in Latin America. We Hornsby's have been invited to watch the live studio taping in beautiful, sunny Burbank. <gasps> Burbank? The mecca of show business? I'm so jealous Surely right now. Oh, my guess. God. Te estoy hablando a ti, tío Pepe. ¿A quién? A mí. <laughs> All right, cut! <laughs> this is awesome. I don't even need to know Spanish because the studio audience tells me when to laugh. Hey, how are my VIPs doing over here? You enjoying the show? Sure, but what I'm not enjoying is this cucumber water. I specifically requested half sparkling, half still. This is all sparkling. My throat is on fire right now. My sincerest apologies, Mr. Hornsby. I'll have my assistant bring you another. Steve, I want to jump your freaking bones right now. Save it for the Burbank holiday in jacuzzi, babe. Oh! Holy shit, there it is. Ooh, logo facing out. Was part of the deal. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh! Ay, oh, no toques mis royal crackers. <laughs> <laughs> Can't get enough, can you, Tio Pepe? Para que veas. He must have eaten something earlier that doesn't agree with him. The royal crackers are making me feel sick! What the hell? He speaks English now? I royal crackers! Royal crackers! Royal crackers! Voy a necesitar otro paquete! <laughs> uh, excuse me, M Mr. Pozole. Hey, Senor Hornsby. The water was not too sparkly, I hope. The water was always delicious. I was just trying to impress my wife. The problem is that you've got a character sick and in pain because he ate my father's crackers. I know it does not look good right now, but I promise you'll be very happy with how the story wraps up. Oh, I, I... <sighs> okay, thank you, Mr. Pozole. Oh, gracias. Oh, gracias. Okay, I printed out some of my Facebook research. There's been no reported cases of an overdose, so we'll take that with a grain of salt. Uh, let's see, side effects may include nausea, fatigue, and irritability, so we'll need to follow the directions to a T. Way ahead of you. Read them over a hundred times now. It says to take no more than three, otherwise we can be playing a very dangerous game here. You ready? Well, here goes nothing. Mm. Not bad. <gasps> Steve! This is what I would call a key old strap on. It's, it's not going away. I can't breathe. I, I, I'm breathing really fast. Is that happening to you? You said three and we should be fine. Why would you say that thing to me? I don't know. That was days ago. Or hours or minutes. I don't know. Do you want me to be dead? Time has no meaning anymore. Oh, my God. Now it's happening to me. I can't stop breathing. We're dying. Is that normal? We're dying. Is it normal to not be able to stop breathing? We, we have to go to the hospital. We have to go now. Steve, we don't have a car. Get in, bitch! How do you even know how to do that? I have no idea. It's like I'm watching someone else do it. Hold on to your tits! Steve, I can't hold on much longer. We're almost at the hospital, Deb. This is my last breath. I can't believe this. First Theo takes my car against my will, and now he kills my wife and I with his CBD treats? Um, Steve? Who does he think he is? Thinks he's the coolest guy in the family? I can be cool too, you know. He'll be sorry. People should be scared of me. I swear to God, the next time I see him, it's gonna be like, pop, 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 What does that mean to you? You're scaring me! Steve, stop saying pop!
years. Hey, buddy, how's it going? You feel like no one values your well-intentioned but fatally flawed ideas? Yeah, me too. Oh, what? You want some of this? Here you go. Hey, that wasn't for you. Do you have any idea how much that meant to him? It meant everything. Get back here, you freaking buck! Uh, Deb, honey, do, do you think we could wrap this up? I don't want to end up in Sunburn City. Oh, my God, Steve. It's been five minutes. We can go back inside as soon as you look like you're having fun. W what if I put my arms up like this? Does does this help? Whoa, whoa, whoa! What kind of family photos are these without the matriarch in them? Get in there, Deb. Lars has got this. Oh, Lars, I don't want to inconvenience you. Oh, stop, Deb. It'll be great. God, I can't tell you how nice it is to finally have a partner in this. Uh, hey, Steve, can you scoot away from everyone else for a second? Actually, I can't, Lars, any further in, and I'm in the deep end. I'll, I'll drown. Uh, it's just your skin. It's super white. It's really throwing off the f-stop. Huh, you know, it might be better if you're not in the photo. Wait, Deb, why don't I just replace Steve? <laughs> Look at his face. He's like, wait, what? Lars is replacing me? Relax, Steve. I just mean for the photo. I guess I could Photoshop Steve's face on Lars's rock-hard body. Yeah, Steve, you take the photo. Oh, uh, okay. Hey, make sure you get one of me jumping in, dude. Cannonball! Oh no, Steve, this again? We did a photo shoot for Famgram out by the pool. It's really bad this time, Doc. God damn it, Steve, I'll write you a script for some ointment, but how many times do I have to tell you? During this time of year, you have to wear sunscreen if you even want to open a window. <laughs> I, I can't do it. I can't put up this fight anymore. Hey, 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 it's okay. <laughs> you ignore my advice time after time, destroying yourself trying to be a normal person, Steve. You're not normal. You're feeble. You might be the most feeble person I've ever met, IRL. I'll start listening. I promise. Just get out. out. Get out, out of Watch here. It. I my can't do this skin. anymore. Get out. What about my ointment? Wear sunscreen. Let's start there. Then maybe we can build some trust. Let's get this jam session started, huh? Taint 2.0, baby. What are you doing? I'm gonna be your hype man, like the guy from Boss Tones. I'd rather have my entire family murdered in front of me before being compared to the f***ing Boss Tones. Don't worry, my man Matt's got this show on lock. Right, Matt? Right, Papa Lars. Papa Lars? This stage is reserved exclusively for men with balls. Now walk your ass off, Steve. With a B. All right, you animals, we're gonna get this show back on track. Now, this next song is called... <laughs> I hope there's a special place in hell for sellouts! Yeah. That was awesome! Let's do it! Steve.